chances are you have seen pictures of Antelope Canyon, even if you have never been there before. Is Antelope Canyon worth the trip? I will answer that question later, but first, some background. Antelope Canyon is on Navajo land, and it is a Navajo tribal park. It is managed by the Navajo Nation, not the United States National Park Service. Even though it's not a national park, it's similar to one and very popular, so I decided to visit it. Antelope Canyon is a slot canyon made from sandstone erosion. There are several canyons. For this video, I will talk about the Upper Antelope Canyon. The Upper Antelope Canyon is about 120 feet deep and a little more than two football fields long, so it's not very tall or very long. It is accessible only by a guided tour from several operators. The tours are managed by the Navajo Nation. Antelope Canyon looked beautiful in pictures, and it's been on my list of a, a place to visit for a long time. I had high expectations for the Upper Antelope Canyon tour. We booked our $90 October tour several months in advance, but could not get that midday time. So we settled for a 2 o'clock p.m. time, knowing that we would not see the iconic light beam, which happens from March to September at midday. All the tours for several days before and after the day we went were sold out. If you want to go, book early. Antelope Canyon is one of three sites that we planned this trip around. And it's probably the place where I had the highest hope and expectation to see something that's just stunningly beautiful. Well, I have to be honest, that was a huge disappointment. I think partly because my expectation was so high after seeing all those pictures, but uh, the entire experience just felt wrong. Let's start with what we saw with our eyes. It was dark, it was not colorful at all, and uh, it was a slot canyon, and uh, yeah, the formations are, you know, very interesting, but the colors are just awful inside when you see it with your naked eye. Now, with all the modern day cameras and all of the um, picture modes and, you know, able to take pictures in low light and stuff, the pictures of these iPhones and um, Android devices make it look a lot better than it actually does in real life. Just contrast that with something like Bryce. When you go to Bryce, you see it, and you take a picture of it, and you say, man, the pictures and the videos just don't do it justice, because you have to be there to really feel it. Well, Antelope Canyon is exactly the opposite. The pictures are so much better, so much better than what you see with your eyes. It was just dark and you know you just don't see the colors especially towards the bottom of the canyon now if you put the pictures up with night mode and all the other fancy stuff yeah you know you put it on warm vivid mode it comes across as you know beautiful but not in real life our tour started at a shopping center in page arizona we were loaded onto several open air pickup trucks with about 20 people in each the driver did some narration as we drove along the highway before entering a dry, sandy riverbed. The riverbed floods when it rains, and the slot canyon can be dangerous and have flash floods. So the tour can be canceled due to weather. When we arrived at the canyon entrance after about 20 minutes, we were greeted with many other tour trucks that were already there. And there was a small crowd of people by the entrance. We waited about 10 minutes for our turn to enter the canyon. Our guide was very active in pointing out the specific places for the best photos. Some of the best photo angles were when you started looking back, not forward. That was very helpful. He also pointed out the best settings on the phone camera to get the best photos. If you were too slow, however, he did it for you. Also, if you were too slow in taking the picture, he took the photo for you. Of course, he was happy to take a photo of you in the picture. There was a group in front of us and a group right behind us. 
At times, he was rushing the last people in our group to get him moving so that we didn't block the group behind us. The whole process felt rushed. We did not have enough time to soak in the curves and the light of the canyon. It felt like our guy's main mission was to help us take the best photos in the shortest possible time. After we pass through the canyon, we walk on a walkway to get back to where we started. You know, before the visit, I was thinking about taking the Lower Antelope Canyon Tour or the Canyon X Tour in addition to the Upper Antelope Canyon Tour. But after the Upper Antelope Canyon Tour, I was glad I didn't buy those tours ahead of time. The tour companies used to offer photography tours that allow much more time in the canyon, which would have made it feel less rushed. But that has not been offered since the reopening after the COVID-19 pandemic. So is it worth it? Well, maybe, uh, and if you want your own you know, pictures like that. Um, and um, you know, I think my expectation was just too high for what we actually saw. To sum it up, if you expect to see in person what you see in the photos, you will be disappointed. By national park standards, the tour was expensive and rushed. The scenery was okay, the canyon was not especially tall at 120 feet or especially long at 660 feet. To answer the original question, no, Antelope Canyon was not worth a trip as a planned destination. If I happen to be in the page area and don't mind the expense, it is good to go with the right expectations. I would not plan a trip around this particular site. If you've been to Antelope Canyon, let me know your experience in the comments below. We are on our way to visit all the national parks in the United States. Follow along by hitting the subscribe button below. Hit the notification bell so you know when a new video is released. Give it a thumbs up if you like this video and please share it with everybody that you know.